Welcome to Practices for Sustainable Architecture. My name is Rob Fleming, and I'm the Director and Associate Professor at Philadelphia University's MS in Sustainable Design program. I'm also a Sustainability Fellow at Revision Architecture, and I have over 20 years experience in sustainable design teaching and practice. I'm offering this free course because I believe that sustainability and sustainable design is vital to our future. The planet will always be fine, but humanity's quality of life and its continued existence probably depends a lot on what we do in the next 20 to 50 years. Um, so this course then will look at the basics of sustainable architecture to give you some tools, techniques, and strategies for successful practice. And in the areas where I can, I'll go deeper and also share upon the experience of my colleagues to help with that. Um, so the course is broken up into seven weeks. The first week would be standards and metrics for sustainable architecture, where we're going to start with the living building challenge because of its regenerative qualities, and also with passive house because of its widely accepted use all over the world, and then follow up with the platform or basis for a lot of sustainable design, the lead rating systems. Then we're going to do integrated project delivery, look at green construction and factory built architecture, look at eco cities, eco districts, eco villages, and then look at the future of sustainable architecture, thinking about biophilia, biomimicry, resilience, and all of these new concepts. And that'll be followed by a green associate prep to get you ready for the lead green associate exam. Now we're using the Open edX platform, which at first seems very confusing and befuddling, but over time, you'll start to see that it's pretty elegant in its organization. It starts off with sections, which are like chapters in a book, and then subsections, which are topics that are gonna be covered within that. Underneath that, you'll see that there are units, and each unit has specific information that will help you understand the course materials, and in many cases will contain a video that you need to watch, and oftentimes you'll see a quiz included in a unit. And then finally, we have the forum where we can have ongoing discussions about the different aspects of the course. We're really relying upon you as well to help build the course forward with your own experience. 